in your own head, had you already thought that, that Aldo was going to drop out of the fight? Is that something you had contemplated since you heard about the rib injury? Um, I've been contemplating it since long before the rib injury. Long before. As soon as the fight was announced, I've been contemplating it. I knew, like I said before, the eyes never lie. And any time I looked into that man's eyes, I saw fear. I saw glass. So... I anticipated he would not show wolf, and when he got his opportunity to pull, he pulled. So it's something I expected. But I, Is there... I, I don't, I don't blame the man. I was going to fucking butcher him, rip him limb from limb. So I probably wouldn't want to face that either. So it is what it is. But I don't know whether he will be back. Like I said, he's gone running. And I don't think he'll be back. So you think that's it? Do you, do you feel like this fight then is for the real featherweight title? If a man pussies out, and he has pussied out time and time again, he's pulled out of contest time and time again. I mean, the medical reports state that he is fit to fight. So there's no more question. You're fit to fight, and you're not going to fight. The belts rightfully should be stripped, and this is for the real featherweight belt. I am prepared for this. I've been preparing for this moment for a long, long time, and I don't really pay attention to how long he has or how long he hasn't had. Um, I just look at his past performance, and I feel he, I feel he is, he, he is a, he's in the wrong weight division. I feel, I feel he gasses too quick. Uh, that's what I see happening. I see exchanges early. I see him gasping for breath, and I see me butchering his facial structure after that until I, I take the victory. How do you think your striking is going to compare with Connors? I think my striking is going to be great. Connors never faced anyone like me before. I have the athleticism, the strength, the power, the speed, and I have wrestling put him on his back and finish this fight. This, is a fight. this fight is mine. We know he's called you short, but you don't seem like the kind of guy who would really take that to heart. What is What has he said exactly that, that has rubbed you the wrong way? I mean, yeah, the short shit, I mean, I don't really give a shit about that kind of stuff. I've been short my whole life. But, uh, you know, for me, it was, we had to do an interview right before uh, my Aldo fight, and he's talking about putting balls on, on my head and, you know, just being very unprofessional. And, uh, you know, this is something that, you know, I made it personal. And uh, for me, you, know, you don't fucking do that. You know, this is a, a fight game. This is something where somebody could seriously get injured, and that's what I'm looking to do when I get in there against Conor McGregor. And my last question, I, you were probably assuming that he was going to make some kind of prediction on the fight. That's what he's been doing, you know, really throughout his, his UFC career. He said that you're going to finish, he's going to finish you in four minutes. And I guess I would just ask you, what do you think is going to be happening in the fight four minutes of it? Yeah, Connor, I'm going to give you a little more respect, buddy. I'm going to finish you within the first three. Pay-per-view cuts, bonuses, extra cash that comes with extra sales. Is that something that you think about at all with the opponent change? Of course, it's something I think about. Um, it's what it's all about. This is prize fighting. It's about the money show. But I feel, I feel this is the the McGregor show. People are showing up to see me. It doesn't matter whether it's Jose or Chad. I mean, it would have been nice if Jose didn't pussy out. But we'll take the substitute. You know, we'll, we'll take we'll take the B level guy, and we'll still we'll still break records with this. You know, people right. are going to want to tune into this fight because they're going to want to watch me destroy Connor. Chad, you so have Chad, gonna the be, There's so going to be there's going to be there's going to be a lot of people tuning in. I know it. Uh, well, they ain't tuning in for you, Chad. Let's yeah. let's call a spade a spade here. They ain't no, tuning they, in. They want to see me sure. crush your face. Come people on, hate listening to me talk. You. They hate your mouth. I'm going to fucking butcher you. You should have stayed home, kid. Uh, You shouldn't have answered that phone. (laughs) You shouldn't have answered that phone. Okay, keep talking, buddy. Keep talking. I don't really care about how other people do this shit. You know what I mean? Just try and smart. Be intelligent. There's a lot on the line. Don't be bringing in random schmucks to imitate. And people that don't, you don't know. You know what I mean? You need need your circle of people that you came up with. That's, that's That's who got you to this level that you're at now is the people that you train with day in, day out. It's not all of a sudden you've got a new opponent, so you need to bring in this guy or that guy. It's 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 the wrong approach. Even 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 the way the way uh, 
Rashad and his little team over there doing the chopping and changing coaches, and it's just a sign. It's just a it's the wrong environment, and that's why time after time they come up in second place. I just I said it already. It's you, when you look into a man's eyes and you look him dead in the eye, you can see straight into his soul there, and no one else even watching can see it. It's only between you and him. And I looked into his eyes, and I knew this motherfucker doesn't want to be here. He doesn't want it the way I want it. So that was that. Who who cares? He he he's gone running. You can, you won't see him again. You know what I mean? He was beaten mentally before he was beaten physically. So it doesn't matter if he was on something or whatever, all that other stuff. It means nothing now. He's gone. I think Chad is the substitute, the B level. I think he's a wrestler with an overhand that gasses. You know what I mean? I think his body, his body weight to his side, to his height, and you know his body is in disproportion. And I think that hampers him as a fighter. I think that's why he gasses and he gets that, he gets that tiredness. And that's why when I'm pressing him, I'm pressing him, and we have these exchanges and these scrambles, and his belly is going to be breathing in and his body is going to be screaming for oxygen and I'm going to be still there in his face cracking him with everything I have, every shot, the heel, the knee, the elbow, the fist, every shot in the book I have. And and, and that will be that. Eventually, he will give like, like they all do. Thanks. I don't know how you're going to be pressuring anything from your back. Dude. So it's, listen, what, what, what are you going to do? You can't, e- you can't even pass guard. You're a white belt on the mat. Well, you get me down, you hold me down. I'll butcher you from the bottom. I'll get back up and <laughs> butcher you on the feet. All right, what's what you get to? What are you going to do? Are you going to do the splits on me? Oh, Fucking, what do you I'm think, you're a junkyard man, damn dude? I'm going to kick you in the throat. <laughs> All right, dude, you're so tough. So tough. Let's see. I, I am very confident that if we exchange in any grappling sequence, I have the, I have the ability to dominate him. Yeah, uh, would you be willing to fight Aldo? If you win the title, would you be willing to go to Brazil to fight Aldo? Or would you like to make him fight somewhere else if he's backed out of... It's, 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 it's the McGregor division now. He, put, he bottled it. He went running. It's on my call now. So if he wants to come back with his tail between his legs, that's no problem. He can come back. We can do the stadium in Dublin. But it's on my call now. Oh, I agree, man. I fought, I fought that guy twice in Brazil now. I'll get that belt. I'm fighting that dude in the States this time. In a way, this might give more ammo to the people, I guess, that don't like you out there. They will say that, okay, fine, you're the interim champ, but you've just beaten a guy with no distress. They'll, yeah, they'll always say twice. something. Let me tell you, because you sound like one of them people. They'll always say something to try and discredit what I'm doing here. There's always going to be a question that... Uh, the rest, you know, every every fight is a question, you know. Now now it's the wrestler question, you know. But no matter what happens, and now now you're talking, there's going to be the interim question. Then when I smoke chat, he's only had two weeks, and there'll always be something to try and discredit me. But at the end of the day, cash beats credit every day of the week, and that's what I'm here for. I'm here to shut this man down. Break that pay-per-view record and cash them big fat checks and fuck everybody that's doubting me. The approval or disapproval of, of, of people is not something I, I I pay attention to. It's not what I do this for. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this is the real world title that's on the line. If if the if Jose is afraid and won't show up, well then he's done. It's it's done with that now. Now now this is for the real uh, featherweight belt. So I don't label this an interim belt one bit. This is the real UFC featherweight world title. How important is it for you to be um, the first man to shut Conor McGregor's mouth in the UFC? This is huge, man. This is like I said. This is a fight I don't turn down. Uh, you know, I got the offer and I said, give me that contract right away. So uh, you know, this is a huge, huge opportunity. Not turning it.